Hi, everybody. How are you? It is me, the Asian MacGyver. Why do I say that? Because I made this fucking thing. Look at it. Do you see it? It looks like shit, but I made it. Um, Shadowhunters is back. Yay. Um, but also like, Yay! Listen, uh, a few disclaimers before I get into the video. I am purely going to be reacting to Magnus being seen. I don't need to repeat myself, but the short version of that explanation is that I don't necessarily like the show in its entirety. So anyway, uh, that said, on to the video, you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start watching because I'm excited. Haven't seen season three yet, uh, but we've got some footage available, and I am... Mm, 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 I'm pumped. Wait. Dismiss what, what what happened while you were in Idris. The fallout from my decision to lend the warlock support to the Seely Queen. I'm sorry. Don't be. Oh. I'm not upset. I'm actually elated. Shouldering the burden of all the warlocks in Brooklyn. It gets exhausting. Okay, I had to pause. I'm sorry if you don't like this type of reaction videos. Um but I have to mention one thing. This is such a, oh no. Oh no. I feel so bad for Magnus. Like he had to quit being the high warlock of Brooklyn. He loved that job. Early signs of conflict. Although I will say this, it's great to see Magnus again. Love the hair, love the new look. This fucking jacket, living for that shit. Continue. I thought this was important to you. What's important to me is I can start seeing clients again. Help them achieve their dream. And make a lot of money doing it. Hmm. So, how was El Conte? I was offered a position on the council. A delegate under the new consul, Gia Penhallow. Wow! Congratulations, Alexander. How's Magnus doing? Uh, great. Why? I've been so worried about him. When we spoke last night, he was beside himself. Being the High Warlock meant everything to him. Ah! Uh, knew it! Really? I, that's not what he told me. Bitch! Renzo Rey has been waiting centuries for his day in the sun. Pop his ass engineered this whole thing. I hate to see you like this. Oh. Raphael. It's been a while. <laughs> One of my favorite things that I remember about Raphael seeing him now is how fucking stoic he is half the time. Look at me, Magnus. I'm in love with you, Isabel. Please get my suit ready. Facundo. Facundo's not it. That's not a vampire name. A temporary solution. He's gonna have to face his fears. Lucky for you, I am open for consultation if they want it. Magnus is like, mm. he's given me a lot of like psychiatrist, doctor, daddy vibes, and I'm I am eating it all up. Like yes, mm. give it to me, sis. Who is this tranquilizer really for? It's for me. Rose is not doing so well, and the thought of losing her. I'm so sorry, Raphael. <laughs> what an awkward hug. This is, okay, this is exactly the reason why I sometimes can't, and I'm being pulled out of this show every so often, is because there's something so off about it. I, I can't really put my finger on it, but there's just something that's off about it every now and then. It's either in the editing or the pacing or the acting. Do you know what I mean? Do you see that? Like, it's a bit, it's weird. It's like very mechanical and sort of like, I felt like when they both started hugging, they also simultaneously whispered into each other's ears like, okay, one, two, three, and release. <laughs> Six ball corner pocket. Good luck with that. Oh, it's their little spot. Sorry. <laughs> They're back to their little spot. I'm having a surge of Malik feels. It has been a hot minute, you guys, and now I am back. You're a man of many talents. You look so good in gray. Sorry. Oh, sorry. You never have to pretend how you feel. Especially not with me. I don't want you to move to Idris. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me that before? Because it's a selfish oh, move. All I care about is how you feel. I don't want to go to Alicante without you. What is that place? It sounds 
like a dream. It sounds like a place of just like margaritas and sunshine. I am ready. I'm not going anywhere. Is it just me or is Alec like tan as fuck? Sorry? What is this? What is this party? Is this like a like a sex party? Just because you're the only shadow hunter at a party full of Roblox doesn't mean you can't have fun. Now it's easy for you to say. You know these people for centuries. And you think that's a good thing? Trust me. I don't want to be here any longer than I have to. But <laughs> me at family reunions. Lorenzo Rey, new high world worker. Which one? Oh. Magnus! He looks like the devil. He looks like the actual spawn of Satan. But also he's Satan himself. So essentially he spawned himself. That's what he looks like to me. Although I may not be as easy on you as he was. After all, I'm here to serve the warlocks, not portal you around like some glorified shuttle service. That is a smile of a man that is out to bend Alec over a table and fuck him senseless. And I am ready. We love a good love triangle. We do. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> Forward to our first cabinet meeting. Enjoy the party. You have to come out of the cabinet. That's the point. I'm out of here, man. Oh my god, can I have that power? With a flick of my finger, can I just fix my entire room? Fix my entire life? Oh my god, fix my entire life? There's something wrong with my shampoo. Uh, no, it's actually way better than what I had back at the Institute. Where do you buy it? I don't buy it. I brew it. It's a special blend of Indian sandalwood that I started mixing back in the 18th century. I mean, if you can wash your hair magically, why do you go through the trouble? Because I enjoy taking showers. <laughs> Alright, well, if you're not too busy, can you I'll brew me a bottle? <laughs> Hold that thought. Lorenzo. Aye, aye, aye. Because you thought you could get away with sabotaging my party. The ley line under my home was intentionally corrupted. I knew you were petty. I just didn't realize you'd go this far to make me look bad. Bitch, you're just jealous because Magnus has this amazing faux hawk that makes him inches taller than you and you're intimidated. I've solved it. That's a problem. That's a source of his insecurity. Like, get the fuck off his dick. Why would Lorenzo accuse you of working with a greater demon? Especially one like Asmodeus. <sighs> Asmodeus and I have a history. I didn't know that they filmed this in the, uh, the uh, set of Call Me By Your Name. Sorry, I had to. I had to. I had to. Osmodius isn't just a greater demon. He's the most powerful prince of hell. And if Lorenzo's right, what happened at the party is just the beginning. Did he have to sigh twice? Osmodius is my father. Oh, plot twist. I knew every warlock had a demon parent. It's just... Osmodius. Magnus is just full of surprises. You said anything about breaking in. I could conjure it, but I find mixing by hand to be the only way to achieve perfection. Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Did Alec just whore himself out to Satan, Satan, Satan so that they could get in that place? Alec! Sis, I'm so proud of you! Look at that smile! Look at the smile of a seductress, babe! Perfection! Truly. Oh, I'm glad you like it. It's my favorite. You have a beautiful home. You know what's so cute about this is like he's probably just mimicking the way that Magnus would talk. And this is exactly what I was hoping for in season three. So seeing him right now, like being the seductive little queen that he is, I'm like in love. Like, thank you, Alec, for this moment. Thank you, Jesus. I want to thank God and like not only God, but Jesus. You have an interest in ceramics. 
I dabble. I have an interest in pot, yeah. You know. Uh, 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 uh. Spring of 1887. Are they going up to his bedroom? Anyway, I was at the Romanoff Easter party, and Nicholas comes up to me. The fuck is Nicholas? Does this baby look familiar? Is that you? <laughs> it's actually me. <laughs> Great, now show me that baby picture of you with, like, the full gear of the horns and the tail. Love that. Would love to see you in your actual form. <laughs> How can you not hear that? Did you hear something? No? You're gonna use the angelic core. Are you serious? This is our only ch- I don't- Okay. I don't want this to sound... The way that it's about to sound. And you'll know what I mean when I say it. But like, where is Raj? Is that Raj? Or does Raj have a brother? This is a risk we have to take. The whole point of building the Institute away from the ley lines was to avoid something like this. Why not just quarantine the warlocks outside the city? Thank you, I down those things alive. That's like enough. This isn't just about the warlocks. You know what happened at the hospital. Everyone is at risk. Raj is such a bitch. He had one line in season two, I think, and then suddenly... He has a lot more to say. From what I can remember from season two, that is sort of outside of the Malik plot, is that maybe Raj was the right-hand person of a former head of the Institute prior to Alex stepping up to the plate. I get that, Raj, but you're a husband. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why do you have to be such a dick all the time? You're shit. You sure about this? A better idea? No! He's gonna fuck up and blow up the Institute. I can feel it. Alexander! I'm working on it! It's rusted! Oh my god, that was it? I thought he had to, like, connect a couple of complicated wires, but all he had to do was, like, pull up a lever. <laughs> oh no, this is gonna take some serious man-meat muscle power. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have a proposition, Alec. Every time that Magnus is about to perform some serious magic, just have like a martini ready. It's quite the drink. It's been quite the day. I'll have a drink with you. Oh yeah. Had some good, some good ass water. Lorenzo Rey could use a bit of character building. He's been taking all the credit for fixing the ley lines. Such an ass. Burn! I hope you don't think less of me. Maybe. Are you kidding? I don't care who your dad is. I care who you are. Alec, you've come so far! Oh, it's the end. Okay, we've reached the end. I am exhausted. Alright, that was a good start. I'm pretty happy with that, I guess. Like, I mean, happy in the sense of, like, I have very realistic expectations for what the show is about. If you have watched up until this point, thank you so much. My name is Noah, and uh, if you enjoyed this content and would like to see more, feel free to subscribe. It's free. It's whatever. Uh, also, here are all of my social media handles posted above. Say hi. Don't be afraid to say hi, you guys, because I will most likely say hi back. If I don't, don't take it personally. I'm probably just, like, dead in a ditch somewhere. Life.